Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. For this full moon in Pisces, this super moon, super blue moon, um, I decided to give away a free personal reading, an in-depth reading. So if you are interested in that, I ask you to leave a comment and a comment in the form of a blessing. So a blessing for yourself, a blessing for a loved one, a blessing for someone else or a blessing for humanity at large. And I will then the second, the second or the third of September, I will pick somebody out and I will let that known through my channel who I picked out. So despite if you, if I will pick you out or not, let's just put some blessings out into this world. So I wish you all a very beautiful full moon and I will see you in your reading. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space for, with me. Whomever chose pile one, I have a message for you today. And this is a message about what this full moon has in store for you. What possibilities are open for you and I will also give you some guidance and advice according to that. Because according to our own choices, we create the perception of our own reality. So if certain possibilities are open for you, then it also depends on the choices that you make according to them, if they, how they will manifest, if they will manifest. So what I see for you, my dear Pile One, what I see for you is, um, this is a message about a certain habit, something that you do on a regular basis, and this will be illuminated, this moon. This full moon will illuminate that thing for you. And this message came through already a few weeks ago. It's like there is something you need to see in your habits and the moment you will see it you will you will break through something something will be put to light and you will get an aha moment about this certain habit and this moon is really asking from you to go inside to go into hermit mode and to allow whatever God, Source, Spirit, your guidance, whatever they want to show you, to allow that to be shown to you according to your habits. This is something really in your own um, behavior, your own actions. It might also be about some a certain thought pattern that you want to break through or break free from but it can be anything it's something inside of you something that you do something that is related to your actions or to your thoughts and this moon has the possibility it has an opportunity for you to really see what that is to see it with very um, or to see it with clarity and then to change that around because you are sabotaging yourself with that habit and the fact that it's here on the table feels like you are not fully aware of it yet maybe you are but there is more to see there and this moon holds the opportunity for you to really look into that so this moon also asks from you to go into hermit mode 
and to be still, reflect and see what is there to see for you. There are a lot of messages being given to you in these times, in, this, in these full moon days. There are a lot of signs, a lot of signals, a lot of synchronicities. If you be still enough, if you allow yourself to be still enough to receive the messages, there is a possibility to break free from something. And we have the Seven of Swords also on the table. And this is a, this is a card that speaks about um, lies, deception, uh, illusion. So we have a full moon in Pisces. And Pisces is also the sign that speaks about um, its dreams, its visions, but it's also illusion. So it's a perfect moon. It's very synchronized, this moon, to really see very clearly what is there in your own behavior that is sabotaging you, that is sabotaging the flow of your life. <clears throat> I'm going to ask for more clarification here. You really have an opportunity here to, to change the course of your life. There is a big opportunity here, actually, because we have on the table, again, three majors. As to clarify this, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Lovers, and we have the Star. So, this is confirming that there is something from your own behavior that you need to see to change your your world around in a very big way to really give the move to that wheel to turn It will bring you a lot of clarity. And it will also take you out of a, a cycle that is, that is, it feels confusing, it feels heavy, it feels foggy, it feels heavy and not clear. So the message for you is actually very simple and very clear. This full moon in Pisces is giving you an opportunity to see something that is important for you to see. Because if you see it and if you then act accordingly, then you can move something completely around. You can put the wheel in the flow of turning everything around. But it asks from you also to be silent to go into hermit mode. I will ask if there is more advice, but the message is very clear. Yeah, there is really this opportunity for you here. One more. Perfect. 
there is really this opportunity for you here. We have the Tower, the Knight of Swords, the King, the Queen of Swords, the Fool and the Empress. So there is really this opportunity for you here if you go into this hermit mode and be true and honest with yourself. There is this possibility for you to get this massive aha moment and then act accordingly. There is this opportunity for this massive aha moment in full clarity, very clear. And if you then act accordingly, there is an opportunity for a completely new beginning. A completely new beginning that will nourish you, that will make you feel abundant, that will make you feel fulfilled. It will make you feel healthy, it will, it will make you feel light, it will make you feel you. So take this opportunity. Take this opportunity to go into hermit mode somewhere in the days around the full moon and ask. Ask your guides, God, Source, Spirit, Angels, whatever you connect to, ask. Can you show me very clearly what is there for me to see? Where am I sabotaging myself? Ask it and you will receive your answer. And it will be very crystal clear for you. And if you then act accordingly, you can switch your world around into a completely new beginning. So this is what I have for you today. I wish you a very beautiful full moon. And I'm sending lots of love, light, peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile two, I have a message for you today. And this message is about the full moon in Pisces. What does the full moon in Pisces have in store for you? What opportunities are open for you? And then I will also go into some guidance and advice according to these opportunities that are open for you. What I see for you is the main theme is wholeness. Divine union within yourself. So this full moon is giving you an opportunity to come into wholeness within yourself. Or she is reminding you to do that during these days. Or she is reminding you if you are not, um, if you, for example, tried to, try to, if you are single and you try to attract a partner, that this full moon is, uh, is offering you an opportunity to come back to that union within yourself. And it's from that place that we attract a divine partnership. This is if you are single. And it's only for, for those people. But for the rest, this, this full moon is really asking you to be balanced. To be balanced inside, but also outside with whatever you do. This moon is asking from you to really listen to what your, your body um, mind, body and soul, what they are asking from you. The full moon will illuminate that for you, what is important for you. And she also asks to follow up on that. If you feel like you need more sleep, then listen to that. Take more rest. Stay in balance. That's the main thing that I feel here. Stay in balance and find that union, that place of union within yourself. Surround yourself with beauty, with joy, with bliss. 
with the good things of life. Indulge yourself in it. This full moon is also illuminating for you that if you try to, if you get a certain um, urge to do something, to be patient, to to don't rush into anything in during these full moon days. The main thing that this moon is asking from you is to stay in balance. Stay in balance and find that place of wholeness within. Because the opportunity is here in this full moon to come to this divine union within yourself. Everything is open for that. And it's about you um, inside and outside indulge in the thing that reflect that union that union indulge in the things that reflect that union so be in peace be in at ease be balanced don't rush into anything just take these days to To bathe in your own worthiness. And I, I do see some of you here are trying to manifest a divine partner. Again, this is if you are single. Um, and if that is the case, then this, this full moon is really offering you the opportunity to come within that union within yourself, which is the only place from where we are in the right frequency to attract that person, that divine counterpart. And this opportunity is open for you here. I see a lot of peace here. There is a lot of peace and there is a lot of beauty and there is a lot of um, I can smell the flowers. Stop to smell the roses. That's what I hear now. Stop to smell the roses. These, these simple acts that if you stop and you smell a rose, it, it brings you instantly in this... <sighs> and this is what I feel for you. This is also... The opportunity that this moon is giving to you to be in that state. Maybe there is still some healing to do. And then this moon is offering you the opportunity to be in that state of peace. To be in that state of balance. To be in that state of harmony within yourself. If you can, put your work aside for a moment and just, just be, just be and breathe. I'm going to see if there is something coming out according to advice. Beautiful. Wow, very beautiful. One more. Very beautiful. We have the chariot, the page of cups, the tree of cups, the ace of cups, and the knight of cups. So we have a major arcana, the chariot, which speaks of victory, of success. And then we have four cups cards on the table. We have the knight of cups and the page of cups. This is about someone offering you their cup of love. 
And then we have celebration and we have the Ace of Cups. But in this reading, it really feels like this someone offering you their cup of love is you. If you are trying to man manifest someone, imagine, take these days to imagine how it feels if you give yourself what you are wanting from someone else to give to you. Offer yourself your own cup of love. Fill your own cup with everything that you are worthy of, which is the utmost best. Give that to yourself these days. Bathe in that. Bathe in, in your overflowing cup of love. Because you deserve. So this moon is really offering you an opportunity to come into wholeness within yourself. To find this divine union within yourself. And how to do that is to Give yourself whatever you want, whatever you need, whatever you desire in these days. Give yourself all this love. Fill your own cup with this overflowing love. Surround yourself with beauty, with joy, with bliss, with things that are peaceful, with things that are at ease. Maybe put on some music, listen to some music or whatever brings you in this state of <sighs> I can just be, I can just be. Love yourself. Be in love with you. And by doing so, again, if you try to manifest or if you try to attract a partnership, then this is the frequency from where you will see each other. Because if we are dif in different frequencies, it's possible we cross our divine counterpart and we don't even see each other. But if you are in this frequency of, I am whole within. I am divinely united within. My divine masculine and my divine feminine inside of me, they are in, in harmony. They are in balance. They are in union. And from this place, you will notice anything else that is in that same state. So be your own most loving, most caring, most giving lover these days. And enjoy enjoy the energy is very beautiful very beautiful it's it's based on this beautiful balance and then there is this joy and this bliss and this beauty again stop to smell the roses Very beautiful energy. I become very silent from this. So bathe in that. This is what I have for you. I'm sending you, or I'm wishing you a very beautiful full moon. 
and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile 3, I'm here with a message for you today. And the message today is about what does this full moon in Pisces have in store for you? What opportunities are open for you? And I will go into the opportunities and then I will, um, I will put out some guidance and some advice according to these opportunities. What I see for you, what this full moon has in store for you, the opportunity that is open for you, is a very big release. Something that has been stagnant for a very long time is there is an opportunity to release that. To fully release whatever was there and whatever hold you or whatever was stagnant inside of you or whatever held you very stagnant. This full moon is offering you the opportunity to completely let that go. To complete, completely release yourself from some kind of destruction. Some kind of destruction that was inside of you or around you or it feels mainly inside of you. This might be a certain um, thought pattern or some big karmic cycle that can be released. This, re this reading really feels like this is divinely orchestrated. There is something very fated for you around the time of this full moon. Something very fated. And there is a big change possible for you here. Something that will really turn your world upside down in a very positive way. It feels like, like a mission impossible. It's like, it feels like a mission impossible that you have worked on a lot. This might have to do with anything according to your root chakra, your base, your values, your security, your safety, survival mode, whatever is there in your root chakra. It, at one point in your life, it probably felt like a mission impossible. And this full moon is giving the opportunity to completely let that go. The end of a very long cycle. It's like you did the work. And it's like this moment, this full moon, is the moment of full integration. Integration is the, is the moment where, where all the work that we have been done, have been doing, becomes effortless. It becomes an automatism. And it, this moon is is offering you that opportunity to go from destruction finally into a flow into a flow that that will like be the complete opposite of what you have been experienced before it really feels very divinely orchestrated it really feels very fated this moon for you it's destined that you are moving into calmer waters. I feel you have been through 
so much. And I honor you. I honor your strength. I honor your courage. I honor your persistence, your resilience, your grace. I honor you. This is your moment to turn it all around. The opportunity is there for you. It's a very strong... very strong energy that I'm feeling here. It's a lot. So you've been through a lot. And I acknowledge you here in this moment. I acknowledge you for everything you've been through. I want to get some clarification and then I will go into advice for you. You will finally be able to just go to the tree and pick the fruits. There is no need anymore to, to dig the ground, to plant the seeds, to the wheel of fortune. There is no need anymore to dig the ground, to plant the seeds, to water, to take care, to make sure that there is not too much sun, that there is not too much wind. It's done. It's done. The first card that comes out as clarification is the Wheel of Fortune. It's de this is the card of destiny. There is something very, very fated in these days of this full moon. The Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Swords and the Sun. Here comes the sun, da da dee -do. You have been very patient. Choosing your paths, making very difficult choices. Getting out of all these mind prisons. Moving through all these, all the sadness, all the pain, all the grief, all the all the loss, all the release that you did, all the surrender that you did. Here comes the sun. Bathe in the sun. If you can, just go to a pool of natural water, the ocean or a river or a lake. If, it's, if the temperature allows that, Go in, bathe in that water, and then dry your naked skin in the sun. And be reborn. Allow yourself to be reborn during this full moon. Once more. To resurrect. And if, if, if the temperature doesn't allow, or you don't have a natural body of water nearby, then Take a shower or take a bath and release these last things that are still there. See them flushing away and allow yourself to be showered with this divine grace. This is really a big, big turning point for you. My beautiful pile tree. This full moon for you is very significant. Very destined. Divinely orchestrated.
I'm going to ask for some advice that came through already is this pool of water. If you can, cleanse yourself or allow yourself to be cleansed. Any advice? Be open to receive your justice. Be open to receive your justice. That is your advice. Be open to receive your justice. Be open to pick the fruits finally from the tree or the trees. Enjoy this feeling of your cup being full. Be open to whatever wants to come in, in these times, in these days. Be open. Be open to receive. Be open to receive your justice. This feels like a really big new beginning. It's not a new chapter, it's a new book for you. A complete 360 or 180 turn of what you were living before. So as an advice, we had already that body of water and for the rest just be open. Just be open to receive your justice. So this is what I have for you. I wish you a very beautiful full moon and a very beautiful change, a very beautiful new beginning. I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile four, I have a message for you. And the message today is about this full moon in Pisces. What does this full moon in Pisces have in store for you? What possibilities are open for you? And then I will also offer you some guidance and some, some advice according to these possibilities. What I see for you here is that this full moon is offering you an opportunity for freedom. Freedom in the in consciousness, the real experience of freedom. It can be also in your external world. But if you experience it in your external world, you also experience it within. And this feels like this is more from a state of consciousness. The consciousness of being free. The consciousness of being free to do whatever you want. The consciousness of being free to, to listen to the music. To look at the rainbow, to feel the music, to dance, to smell the flowers, to bloom as a flower, to blossom and to bloom, to spread, spread your, your wings. Tell me more. Sorry for that. The opportunity to spread your wings, to, to feel completely nourished within, within yourself, 
to feel at peace, to feel at ease. So there is an opportunity given to you, this full moon, to experience that. To experience that consciousness or to, to reside in that state of being. It's a very beautiful energy. So, this full moon offers you an opportunity to step out from a place of defense, to step out from a place of struggle, to step out from a place of battle into pure joy. And the advice that I see already here is to, to connect to your guidance. God, Spirit, Source, the Angels, whatever you connect to. During these days of the full moon, take extra time to connect. Speak with your guides. And remind yourself of what you are. Remind yourself of what you truly are. This infinite soul. This immortal spirit. Remind yourself of that. Own the rights that you got when you came here. Your birthrights. Your birthrights of love, of joy, of peace, of abundance, of grace, of bliss. Own them. So take time to connect. <clears throat> take time to connect. Take time to meditate. And take care of your body. Whatever your body needs, whatever your body is asking in these days... Give it, to, give it to yourself. It's possible your body will ask for more uh, rest or healthy food or whatever. Listen to your body and take care of yourself. Take care of your beautiful, beautiful self. I'm going to see if there is more clarification about what is already on the table and then I will go into some advice Something might be given to you also in these moments of connection, in these moments of meditation, when you are connecting or speaking to your guides. There might be um, a message given to you, which also adds to this whole experience of freedom. Be aware of signs also. If you are connected to birds, birds are very strong in this reading. They are coming through very strong. And they also bring me a message or bring you a message of hope. So don't lose hope. Whomever this is for, don't lose hope. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. 
always. This might be a message for someone who has who has lost someone recently. If this is you, if you feel spoken to, then be aware during this full moon um, of the birds, birds, butterflies, anything that flies, because they bring you, they bring you something. And then whatever animal it is, the colors, um, look into the symbolism, because there is a message in there for you. If you feel spoken to with someone who, who lost a loved one, then this full moon might also be a moment for you or the moment for you to finally set yourself free and also the soul of the one who passed away. Because if we are holding on to someone, we are also holding them here. So there might be a possibility um, or this, this full moon might bring in a possibility to really set yourself free and anybody else and or anybody else. Set yourself free and see the light again. Allow yourself to see the light again. A death is never an ending, it's a transition. It's a transition into a different form. And they are not gone. And it's very possible to still communicate with the other side. And if this is for you, there is communication coming in for you. So be aware of especially birds but anything that flies and look up and look into the symbolism or look into the time when they show up there is something in there for you and my heart goes out to you that was a message for someone specific now back to the collective energy so this full moon is really offering an opportunity for freedom i will pull some cards now according to advice we had already the advice to really connect to really um, connect to your guidance and to communicate and to be aware of what is shown there for you take care of your own um, physical vehicle take care of your body take care of yourself nourish yourself with the right things And this is a confirmation. There is really an opportunity for you to let go of something. Defense, battle, um, struggle that is from the past. It's an opportunity to all put it to rest. To put it to rest and to experience freedom through freedom and there is again a confirmation really take extra time these days to connect to meditate to speak with your guidance it's many times on the table so this is a very important message for all of you so 
this is what I have for you. I wish you a very beautiful full moon. And I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one.